Doggone cows knocked over my deer feeder. They tore it up. The, I had to make new uh, new leg holders. The old ones just got twisted into mangled bits of nothing. So I cut out some old pipe and uh, bent it to shape using a, a 12 ton pipe bender. Screwed them on, then I had to reattach the uh, controller box to the feeder motor. Like everything else on it, the, the lid to the feeder got totally kebobbled. It, like I said, it was full of three, four hundred pounds worth of corn when they tipped it over and it smashed it up, tore all the rivets out, or at least a good number of them. So I got myself a quarter pound sledge and kind of knocked it back into a rough lid shape. This is just sheet metal, galvanized sheet metal and it's cut, cut into a circle and a strip and it's all riveted together. Anyhow, this is how I use the riveter to, to put the sucker back together. I use a drill to drill out the old rivet heads. I recently replaced my 1970s era riveter with this cool Stanley. It comes with four interchangeable heads for different size rivets. The tip of the tool also rotates 100 or 360 degrees. This is a standard pop rivet. The black part is the rivet head and the metal part is the mandrel. I have no idea what size these are. Rivets come in all different sizes. Just make sure that the head you put on fits the mandrel. It's as simple as it looks. All you do is you put the rivet head down through your holes and then put the uh, uh, rivet gun over the mandrel and you just squeeze and every time you release it slides back down the mandrel a little bit more. Uh, in the end the mandrel will break off and then the stem, uh, what's left of the mandrel, you just throw that away. Here I'm doing it upside down and backwards so you can kind of get an idea. Watch how the rivet head itself is, is forced into a wider dimension as you pull that mandrel head down through it. Here I'm just squeezing the pop rivet gun to show you the, the head of the man, or the head of the rivet starting to expand out again. I don't recommend doing this because when you get to the end and the mandrel breaks, the, the rivet head fl flies off like a doggone bullet. You could put somebody's eye out. I think I cracked the window in the garage doing this. Another cool thing about rivets is that it leaves a really flush external surface. The, the inside of the, of the rivet head also doesn't have to be outside of the inner level layer of material. It can be stuck inside something and it'll hold it just as well, in fact even better. Put a bead of clear silicone around the outside and we're ready for business. Well, thanks for watching. The Fritz 423 out.